Hi guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. Um, a lot of you have um, made a comment about your files. Files, files everywhere. I'm going to show you how I do it. Now this is just myself personally. This is how I handle all the files um, in my system. And I have a Windows 7 system. <clears throat> I have chosen to put all of my items in my documents library. And the reason that that is, is because when I... Uh, do a backup of my whole system it copies the documents library so that's why I choose to put everything in here you can put it wherever you want to alright so this is how I have it set up I have a craft edge folder that I didn't set up they do and I set up a Facebook folder a font folder for any fonts that have come up outside of my downloads um, PDF files SVG files, the tutorial files, work, all the things I have to do, um, like when people ask me to make a project for them, I will put them in there, not on Facebook, like other people out here, like family friends and stuff. Okay, there's a 7-zip. I never use that. I use WinRAR. Okay, and then here's just some files that got out here on accident. All right, so... Here is where most of my downloads go into, is my downloads folder. So we'll wait for this to open up. Okay. All right. Here's a whole bunch of them coming up. And I will show you how I organize these. All of my bought in scripts that I ha are bought in fonts okay so earlier this week I downloaded the birthday balloons the free ones from uh, Miss Kate Cuttables and I haven't unzipped that one yet okay so they finally loaded let's unzip this All right, so here's my extractor, WinRAR. All right, I like this one because look what it has here. Extract to birthday balloons for 1215. Watch what happens when I hit that. It's starting to, oh, and look, it made another copy right there that is unzipped. So I'm going to go come back here, and I'm going to delete that one. Just because I don't, I don't need that zipped file in there. All right, I try to keep my system really, really clean because I have a lot of files. All right, let me show you how I have this set up. Okay, my sort by is done by type, and they're grouped by date. Okay, so all the ones that I have downloaded come up. If I download more today, they will all come up right here. All right. Okay, so now we know how all of my downloads are arranged and how I get my zipped files unzipped and all put in the same exact folder name but an unzipped folder. Okay, so let's come back here. Uh, let's come back to me. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to my documents. Okay in here in Facebook because I do a lot of work on Facebook I made up files okay so let's say my FCM files here are all the FCMs that I have and the pictures to go with some of them so the water bottle label and the alcohol one that I did okay so I know that I have my FCM file here and if I want to come in to my stick I can pull files off of my stick and transfer them to my documents folder. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. I right or I left click once to highlight it. You see how this is highlighted? Okay, so now I'm going to come here and it says send to. There's the documents. So let's send that to the documents. Okay, and let's come back here to our documents. And look, there it is. Okay, so I know I don't want it sitting out there free floating. So, let's come here 
and we're going to put it into our Facebook file when it stops freezing. Okay, so I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to uh, left click and I'm holding. Left click and hold and it says move to Facebook. So I'm going to drop it right there and let it move to Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to open my Facebook folder. Maybe. There we go. And look, right there it is, but I don't want it free floating again, so I'm going to left click and hold. Come on, work. And I'm going to bring it to my FCM and I'm going to drop it in there. And you see it's transferring it right now. Come up here and refresh it. Okay. And there it is. So I have effectively brought it from my stick all the way over and put it back into my documents library in my FCM folder. And it's very important when you save anything that you pay attention to the line up here. Okay. So when you go in and you hit save and your screen comes up, you want to make sure that you check to where that is being saved. That is really the only help that I can give you um, because you know, working with systems, it can be a little difficult. Um, but as you see from here, this is my uh, HP stick that I just had, and I transferred the Colin FCM all the way through, but it still remains on my stick as well. Okay, so if you want two copies, um, that's how I would suggest that you do it. Um, you can also bring this up um, in Canvas while you're in Canvas. Um, because, once again, you can only view FCM files in Canvas. You cannot um, view them in SCAL. And if you work in SCAL, I recommend exporting as an FCM okay, to your stick. Go ahead and directly export your FCM to your stick in SCAL. And then I also save it as a SCUP file. Because anytime you want to come in and change anything, if you want to modify it and you are working in SCAL, you cannot bring it back to SCAL if you save it as an FCM. So you'll have to or export it. After you export it as an FCM, you'll definitely want to create um, another extension on it. So um, I have found that I prefer doing a SCUP file as compared to an SVG, JPEG, anything else. Um, it just makes it a lot easier when you come in here, you click open, and there's all my SCUP files. So I don't have to search through thousands of SVGs and tons of JPEGs. All right, so in ending this, just please make sure that you look up here when you save your, um, when you save your files. Um, from downloads, for me, I have mine set to come into my downloads folder. And then from there, I can actually move them all around um, my computer if I need to. All right, guys? I really hope this helps because you, you really do need to understand your operating system and how you go about moving things from here to here. Um, and then also remember, again, to look up here. And that should really help you. All right, guys, thanks a lot.